Okay, now I'm gonna go push the button here. All right. Okay, boys. Oh, of course, I forgot my water. I didn't grab my. Bogdan, we can share your water. Can we please share your uh, do water? We, are we supposed to fold the server? No, we do not fold mm -hmm. it over. Can okay. we just keep it open? Like mine? Like, it open just like a book, okay? Hello, hello, everyone. Let me see. I just want to make sure we're, we're on here. Should be on here. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, so that I just, I need to make sure that I'm on the right page so I can see comments, if there's any comments, if anybody has any questions, and so on. Okay, so this is episode two of our spring semester. We're going to do tie-dye lettering mm -hmm. in watercolor. Thank you, Bogdan. I can see my screen. I think I can deal with that. So um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Luba Carlson, if you're new to this. Uh, this is our homeschool art class. And uh, as we were doing this, we thought, well, maybe we could share the class with others and just turn on the camera and have some fun. So uh, I have my boys with me today. I have Bagdan, Hi. Bagdan is seven, and I have Benjamin who is 10. Oh, you know what? I forgot my watercolor pencil. <laughs> I will be back, I guess. But then, can you run to my desk and grab the... There is a pouch with pencils. What color? It's just a pouch. It's black and white pouch, and it has <laughs> pencils in it. Can you please bring the whole thing? I forgot. Okay, so, by Benjamin, that one is yours. This one's for Bogdan. Okay. I was going to grab the... Um, um, the painting that I did, that I put on the, thank you, on the event, the tie-dye that I had my name on it, and I cannot find my uh, sketchbook, my old sketchbook. I have no idea what happened, but, you know, only a week. things happen. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do, we're going to uh, sketch out bubble letters or block letters, whatever style you like. I have done my boises beforehand so that they do not have to deal with this. Let me see. I need to make sure that you can see um, because Facebook has lag and I'm like, I'm trying to, yeah, you should be able to see that. So what I did was I just free-handed letters. That's mine. Yes, that's Bogdan. And uh, ben, ben, can I have yours please for a second? Just to show, no, just to show. And here's Ben's. You do not have to use a watercolor pencil. If you just have a regular pencil, just make sure that your lines are not very really thick, okay? Make them thin, thin and light. Also, if you're using a regular pencil, try to, um, uh, try, try to not put pressure, yeah? And then also, if you need to erase, use a kneaded eraser, or if you have a regular eraser, like uh, use rocking motions on it because uh, watercolor paper is very tender. And if you just rub on it, it breaks the texture of the paper and then and it makes a mess as you paint. So since my boys already have their letters, they're gonna go ahead and bring the dry watercolors to life. So whose, whose brush did I see? That's yours, okay. So bring your watercolors over here to the side. Yeah, just what do we have this? I will tell you. But we're gonna first put some water into our palettes. And you do not need to bring all colors to life. Choose three colors that you're gonna use today. Choose three. What's it gonna be? Red. So um last week we That's talked. Fine. Do you mind me? Okay. Um, so last week we talked about the color wheel and how colors work together nicely and also how they 
help us um, create moods. And so if, if you're looking for certain moods, uh, you probably should use certain colors. I'm sorry. Yeah, four. Okay, go with four, but just make sure not to put more than two colors in one letter, okay? Oh. Mm -hmm. I was going to put three. three. If you put three colors, usually when you mix three colors together, it becomes muddy. Okay, so just two colors. Okay, I'm adding water to my magenta and to my blue. And I think I'm going to grab some, orange. I think it's called yellow ochre. It's not quite orange. It's very, very deep yellow. So I'm just going to give some water to that one to just bring it back. And my mom, I noticed that dark, that was dark yellow looks messy. Uh, yellow was, is not so the time meant to be a light color. It's a different color. Okay. So yeah, I'm just trying to, to make it neat. Okay, my boys, you're gonna need to wait just a minute for me to to sketch my name. Okay. Yes, and then we will start painting. Okay. So uh, my name is Luba, so obviously that's what I'm writing. And I'm just going to go on the diagonal and I'm going to see how I'm going to fit it. I'll probably start right here and just go down. No, that's too big. And then round. Yeah. And then I'm going to make big letters because I have room and my name is not that long. Uh, it's not going to fit. <laughs> I'm going to have to play with this. Yeah. So yeah, where's the A? That's my B. B. And uh, I'm going to fit the A right in there. Something like that. Oh, I didn't need that. Not. It's okay. Looks good. That's good. That's right. I but the A so. kind of looks backwards. Why? It's a capital A. Why does it look backwards? Oh, I don't okay. need this line. I will just take care of it when I have water. This is watercolor pencil. So water will take care of this. I am not going to worry about it. I thought it was, thought it was a small, small A. Okay, so the trick to painting uh, tie-dye letters, you see how they're all together, like they're all touching each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the trick to make it not messy is to paint letters that do not touch each other first. Okay. okay, so if you look at your letters, so with me, I'm going to start with the L, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to paint the A on the other side. And while I'm working on the A, the L will dry, okay, and then I will move to the U. Okay, and then I'll need to wait because my name's not that long. I'll need to wait for the U to dry. So I'm going to paint some like maybe flourishes or flowers or leaves or whatever around it. And I'll wait for this to dry and then I'll work on the B. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Let me know if that, if that makes sense. Okay? I think it makes sense. So the technique we're going to use for this is wet on wet. My boys already have some water in their palettes. I made sure that they did, that they have that. So I'm just going to put a, lot, a little bit of water into three wells. You guys already have it. So why don't you add your paints to your wells? Bogdan, you already have enough water on there. Okay. Okay. Well, And if you know anybody, if you know anybody that you think that they would uh, benefit from a class like this, please share with them. This is a free class and we're just doing this for, for fun and to have some friends with us. Okay, Ben, did you mix three colors? Uh, I was gonna choose four. 
or four did you did you put all of them um, into your no, water didn't put didn't put any yet okay um <clears throat> be aware that watercolors dry lighter so you want to put a lot of paint into your well see what i'm doing i keep going back and forth because if you want a bright color <coughs> bless you uh one of my see the like part this. is coming low what is low what am Not i low just add more water to it add water i don't want mine to be light I really like bright colors. So sometimes I when like you want really, really bright colors, it's okay to paint directly from your directly from your pen, directly from your paints. Hey mama. But then there isn't much that you can do with that. Hey mama. Uh, remember to wipe up your brush and the paper towel before what? you rinse it in the water because so, so that your water doesn't get so yucky and messy very fast, okay? Sorry. It's okay, I'm just reminding you. Okay. I'm going to grab my blue next. Well, my red. Nice. Nice. Pretty like blue. Hey, Mama. Uh -huh. You know you like um, dark light colors. Mm -hmm. I like dark and somewhere in between. I don't like light colors. Okay. This is not bright enough. This blue one, mm -hmm. when you put it on paper, it's going to be almost white. It's very, very pale. You want to add some more. Okay. You want to put no, some... which blue was it? Put some more pigment oh, into yeah. it. Oh, yeah. It was a dark blue. It's supposed to be dark. Well, then add some more. Okay. I'm good with my blue. Is this better? Uh, more. There. Okay, now wipe your brush on the paper towel and then rinse it out. Okay. <coughs> oh, bless you. I Allergies have, have not been kind to this family, I must tell you guys. Mama, I have one more color. Okay. See? I'm on my last color. Okay. I chose, I, I didn't only put another, decide. Choose whatever you like. I, I Just listen to my advice. Do not put more than two colors in one letter. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, is you, it, can, is it, you can do this wait, any way you like. I want to make it like a haunted color. I want to, so I want to add black, white, white. And, and white is not going to show I on know. white paper. So, yeah. It just is going to make your colors lighter. White is great for for mixing when you have to mix colors, like when you need, like, let's say, peach. And then you would go with magenta, yellow, and white. Oh, yes. And, and, and to get pink, you, you mix red with white. Yes. Red. Okay. Now I want one more color. Okay, so Bogdan is still mixing his colors. Just let it let it sit for a little bit. Let it sit for a little bit. Let it sit. Give it a minute. I want my pink. And then go like this, like this, guys. If you um, so the thing that you should know also, how to take care of your brushes, right? So when you load it, when you load your brush, do the motion like this, like this, not like that. Not like that. Yeah, it's hand. okay. I have a paper towel. I'll clean up. Like this. Okay. This is how you load your like paint this? brush. Can we, can we make it bloom? You can make it bloom, but before you make it bloom, you need to do something, right? Yeah, yeah. We need to put some, so, put some water on each of the water. We do. Oh, Bogdan, Bogdan, Bogdan! You're splattering water all <laughs> over the place. No, Kelly. Oh no, my water's okay, going we everywhere. Had, we had a little, we have a little um, flood it's... issue here. Hold on. Ben, look how much is in here. Okay, we're gonna need. I'm gonna need to do something real quick Two. here. So I'm gonna tell you guys what to do next, and then I will take care of. We need to take care of. Okay. All right. And while I'm doing this, you guys need to let, let me know where you're from and what your name is because I see you're there. <laughs> I see we have people. Okay wet on wet which means that you're gonna paint your first letter with clear 
water and you're going to make it really wet really wet okay so get see how wet my brush is yeah I yeah can see it's wet very very wet and so i'm just gonna put it's not quite clear because we got like a mess that's why i want to get up and take care of my <coughs> bless you i got one i got grab one. my my water and that will make it easy so let's pretend this is clear okay this is not quite but it will work make it really really wet stay in lines of your first letter i did i didn't know may i start painting it's not all wet look i see dry spots this is dry this is dry okay sometimes it makes sense to look at it from the side look like this back then if it's wet it will be shiny look for shiny spots okay and then you're gonna pick your color dip your brush into your color and just put a dot in it and see how the color moves in your bend your no benjamin grab a paper towel and lift all of that what ben is doing he's trying to paint we don't need to paint right now what we're doing oh, is we're making it blue look or is look. it you're just white water then is this your white water that's red paint. Oh, it's not dark enough. It's red. If it's not dark enough, you need to put a little bit more. Okay, Ben, look, look what I'm doing. I have paint on my brush, mm -hmm. and I just look. I just put a dot on it. That's it. Okay. And put a dot, and let it bloom. See how it moves? That's yeah. called a bloom. Okay. Yeah. Are you putting that? Wipe my brush on a paper towel. Grab a paper towel if you made a mess and lift it. No, Mom, I'm not. I didn't make a mess. I'm just surprised. Okay. Look at this. Look and at then this I'm going to grab my second color cool. and I'm going to fill in the spots. I did the J first. It's not connected to any letters. Okay. To any. Yeah. Look at my B. And so just let the paint move. Do not try and push it around or anything. Yeah. Just let the paint do the work for you. And this one might while you guys are working, I will be right back. Do I do I have to all do more All right, we're wet? back. Do I have to do all of it? Has to be wet huh? on wet. Yes, that's how you do tie dye, wet on wet. I don't want to do tie dye then. Okay, having black. Food. Can you please let me move, honey? Thank okay. you. Okay. So I'm just uh, I'm going to, to fix a little do not paint letters next to each other. Paint the letter away, the letter that's on the other side. So I'm just um, cleaning. <laughs> we had a little bit of a flood here. 
You said that a million times. I know, and I can say it another million times if I want to. Right? You, get, you don't. So that means you can, you can break the law a million times if you want to. Sorry. Would your mother ever break a law? Aren't they fun? Okay, are you guys getting an echo? Because I hear something. Hold on, let me I don't see. hear anything. I do. My, my phone had been acting funky today. Very funky. They're not supposed, you're not supposed to be hearing this. Okay, let's see. Right. Okay. So here's the thing. If you don't like what's happening, you can always uh, grab a piece of paper towel, roll it up, and soak in the pieces of, of paint or whatever that you do not like. Okay, so I do not like what's happening here. So I'm just going to lift the most of it. And I'm going to try again. And this time I hope, I hope it will work. So I'm just uh, putting water on this. Mama. Yeah. May I take like a little break till, them, till my letter's dried up? Why don't you paint around it? You can paint letter. Uh, okay. You're always not done at all. I know because I because it's next to it. the B that. Um, that okay. Is why don't you start you. working on the designs that okay, that okay, are gonna okay, go okay, around okay, your okay, letters? Okay. Okay. Whatever designs you're thinking of, please slow down. Okay. Leaf. Yeah. Pretty. Like it. Okay. <sighs> So here's my thing. Yeah, I didn't like what I was seeing because it wasn't bright enough. <coughs> Bless you, Ben. So I'm going to try again. This is very wet already, so we're going to boom. I got to tell you guys, watercolor doesn't like rushing. You have to take your time and you have to let your color and mom, for move a little... around. Why are you interrupting me every Sorry. time I'm trying to talk? Can you wait for me to take a pause and then to say something? Now I'm pausing. And mom, I'm not all for the designs. Do I have to do wet on wet? No. Can we dry on dry? Are you working with a pencil? Oh no. So can it be dry on dry? So dry and dry is with a pencil, right? If you're using a pencil. And um, dry. Dry okay. pencil and dry paper. That's your dry and dry. Right? Yeesh. Okay, and I'm back to my magenta because I want there. Now, see how my colors are starting to finally interact with each other? So this is where your tie-dye effects will come from. I'm just adding colors next to each other. Wait, you added more than three. No, that's just two colors here. Oh. It's magenta and blue. That's all I have here. I don't have anything else in here. Uh, let me go and see because I wonder, because I'm streaming directly into YouTube on my channel. So I wonder if... If anybody's right here with me, let me look real quick. Mm 
Okay, got it. All right. Just making sure that I'm not missing any questions because sometimes, um, sometimes I can't see something. People would say something and they can't see it. <laughs> my purple is never showing up. Do, 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 do you want to try and use my purple? No. Do you want purple purple? Yeah. This one. Do you want to try and use it? Do no. I want it purple like this, so like this color. Do you like my bloody J? Bloody J? I wish it wasn't bloody, but okay. If that works for you, sure. Still it's still just two colors. Okay. Black, red. Okay. Just two colors. And is that the it, only it, it, it looks bloody because I just I just took red out of this the one. I just took just red out of the cake. Okay. <laughs> what? What that works. I don't try that. I just want <laughs> Now I think my hair is dried. Okay. So black, black parts. We're sharing colors. Put down one with purple. Because my purple doesn't work for me. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of over the um, hmm. very much over cheap um, watercolor sets, like for kids. I think it really might make sense to invest into a good set. No, oh, not expensive set because expensive sets they're like hundred dollars. But something more, like something better quality than just like cheap, cheap stuff. Yes. As Dad said, he you don't want the cheap stuff. You actually want the good stuff. You want the quality stuff, right? And cheap stuff doesn't usually come in good quality, as I learned. So. So yeah, we're not impressed with this set that we, I just got them <clears throat> for for this semester, because the other one died on us. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. see. Here's your paper towel. Um, it went, it went under, the, uh, under the page on the cover. Okay, here's um, the paper towel. Uh, should I start working on my bee? Like, sure. It's, it's away from all of them. Yeah. Or you can work on your M. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Whichever. I know. I'm whichever, just whichever. I'm just Bogdan, gonna... do we leave brushes Sponge. in water? Sorry. Okay. So yeah, that's the that's the thing, guys. Do not leave your brushes in water because you will ruin your bristles. Especially, especially if you have better quality brushes, don't do that. Also, do not wash them in hot water. Do not wash them with like dish soap. <laughs> Just water and swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Until they're clean. Until they're clean, that's right. Uh, watercolor will come out. It doesn't need, you're not going to need like any specific any special um, soap or anything to to make it come out okay blue i mean yellow i'm doing yellow please don't make that noise honey taking orange out of the cake yes. Ooh. Uh, nice. no. okay so i've added yellow to mine I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put blue on it. Yes, Bogdan. Are, are any of my letters in dry? The B is dry. Always, almost dry. Very, very not dry. So I'm just adding. Oh, 
So it looks like I have a dry spot right here. See, it's not blooming. If it's not blooming, it means that it needs more water. So I'll just put a little bit more water on there and see what happens. It is funny how we, um, how this happens. Whoa, that's a lot. Let's lift it. So I'm just adding a little bit more yellow to this. Just a drop by drop, drop by drop. I forgot to look into my planner what we're doing next week. So I will I will upload the um, the event on the page and paint along paint along Monday page. The event will be there. So if you're not on that page, um here let me put the banner up so you know what i'm talking about this one so yeah just click follow on that uh, it's not a clickable link so you you will need to type it in at facebook.com slash paint along the monday <clears throat> with luba carlson no it doesn't say that it just says paint along monday So if you want to, if you want to see what's happening, mm -hmm. do you like my designs? Mm -hmm. Do you like them? Yeah. Okay. Please don't kick the table, honey. Everybody's hearing it with the microphone. Sorry. Yeah. And they may be wearing headphones. And so that banging goes right into their ears. Not good. And he does it again. Oopsie. All right. Still not I think I'm going to need a new paper towel. Do you know where they are? Here. Bagdad, he can go grab a paper towel. Mm -hmm. Me hungry. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do this during class. without making noises. See ya. <laughs> How's my homework? It's good. I can see the variation of color. Very good. Very good. Do, do you yeah? Black, do your next letter. Sick. Black, six. Mm -hmm. Red, mad, orange, lazy. Okay. Lazy. <clears throat> well, I guess Benjamin is doing his impression of himself, huh? Then. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my B is not quite dry. So I'm going to make sure that my water is not touching the B. So I'm just going to go very careful and leave a little bit of a dry, dry spot over there so that I can work around it. Oh, I did that now. <laughs> it's not funny, but Don. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Okay. Err. I keep forgetting this. What's the thing? Just 
making sure that I have enough water on it. Is it okay that I'm working on my G now? Yes. Okay, so this one's gonna be mostly magenta, I think. Just gonna put random dots all over the place. See what's gonna happen. Guess I'm gonna go back into my paints and just lift some, just grab some paint out of there because I want brighter colors. To green. Well, did you did you mix it with something? No. Let me show Where you is it turning green? Oh, well, it's not black anymore. It's gray because it's not saturated. Not much, not much black in there in that water, right? So that means that you need to maybe grab some more black. Yeah, put some water on there. Okay. Okay, okay honey, you just grabbed all this paint. And instead of using it, you wash it out. That's great. See what I'm doing? So the paint goes in the bristles, mm -hmm. then it goes here. Now it stays in the water. Mm -hmm. And now I'm brushing it off. See, like this. No. <coughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me. So here, try this black. Okay. Better. All right. Okay, so I have magenta here happening. And so my next step is going to be more yellow. Do you like my G? Sure. Okay, if you guys follow me on Lupa Carlson artist page, you know I just added a very cute painting of Owls in Love. And that's a free one for this Saturday. It's acrylics and and you can use um uh, you can use canvas or mixed media paper, or uh, there is acrylic and oil paper that you can just buy in pads. It's a lot cheaper than painting on canvas, and it's kind of like you get to paint and enjoy it, and uh, you don't have to deal with having bulky canvases around if it's if that's a problem, you know. I didn't know they're bulky. Well, if it's one canvas, it's not bulky. But when you have 15 of them and you don't know, you run out of space and on your walls, it kind of gets, kind of takes a lot of space. So. All right. Are you serious? Finish your letters. Benjamin, you can work on your N. I already oh, did work on my N. But my B isn't um, You have two N's in your name. Okay. And I think I might actually... Your O. Your O needs work. Look at your O. Does it, does it need work? But my G isn't is is wet and my my B is still wet. Uh, I well, maybe I... use a paper towel and lift some of that black color. I think I will want to be 
to be a, like a side one. So then the blue isn't working so well. So I might as well add some purple. Let's see. Okay. Well, Benjamin's experimenting with his. Okay. I'm just going to add some leaves to this. Ooh. And I'm doing that. Wet on dry, just painting the leaves. One on that side. Oh, okay, just add a little bit of, and all of a sudden it became a tulip. <laughs> oh, a tulip. All right, kind of fun. How to become a tulip? Well, you see how it has three, and it's too close to the letters now. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna grab some yellow and add some yellow to the tips of my little leaves here. Let it. Go this way, see what's okay, going to happen. Ban. What? Do you want to know, know, know the way I sometimes like to paint? Like this. I, I put water on it. Put water on it. Mm -hmm. I take a color. I'll just use purple. Yes, Ben. Long. This, this, this. A few dots. A few dots. Okay. In places. Now get your water. Your water wet again. But then make sure it's clean, but make it wet, and then rub it. The wet, the wet brush on the wet paint that, that's on the wet water. On the wet page. Okay. So I wet, really like wet, what happened here page. with my leaves. I'm gonna do that with my letter A too. How did that, how did you do that? So I, oh dear. Paint on that Ooh, clean page. Let's keep that page clean. Done. So I painted the whole thing magenta. Here, let's get some more. What should I paint? <laughs> this is going to be weird. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? Okay. Wonder what I'm gonna paint? Oh. A cell phone. A cell phone. Okay. Well. Uh, what? I like cell phones. Okay. So I'm just adding a little bit more magenta directly beep, from my beep, paint beep, set. Beep beep. Because oh, messed up a little bit, but that's okay. I can fix that. There we go. Mm. So I'm just going to leave it like this, like different shades. Yeah, that's fine. Done. Do we leave paint brushes in the water? Done. Done with my whole paint. Okay. Very good. Bogdan can go have a break. Do Ooh. not close. Just leave it, please, and go have a break because it's all gonna leak and and everything, please. Okay. All right. Uh, make sure you guys, if you're using pans with watercolor, like sets like this one, or you know, like other sets, make sure your set is completely dry before you close it. Okay. Because um, because they mold, they get moldy. Some of them do, some of them don't, but I know our previous set got moldy and it could be something to do with the fact that we're in Texas because there's lots of, um, what should I say, pollen, lots of pollen in the air and mold and like we have allergies and all of that stuff. So it could be that, but you just don't know. So it's always, it's always good to, you know, be on the safe side. I'm just grabbing more magenta 
and adding brighter magenta to some areas for just to make this a little bit brighter. So next week we're going to be doing, we're going to be working with acrylics. Hooray! Hooray! Watercolors are hard. I know that. Acrylics are so much easier. Acrylics are easier. And I will be posting uh, a, uh, what am I looking to say? Oh my gosh, I can't think. A tracer. I'll be adding the tracer a tracer to our to the event. So if you want to paint along with us, you can, of course. You're more than welcome. So I'm just kind of adding little kind of cute little blue flowers, I guess. I would say I don't know they're from my imagination I just made them up so just leave a little bit of white on there for a highlight and that's it doesn't need to be anything super hard Okay, what do you need? Oh. Okay. And maybe I'll add, nah, I'm not gonna put them on there. And so these guys are gonna have tiny leaves with them just for fun how's it going benjamin yeah, i wish i could it's hard your name is long you have a lot of letters to deal with it <laughs> yeah yeah and i was also thinking of putting like a mario galaxy boss Standing on the letters. Oh yeah. He's like a giant robot. With yeah. Filled with bunch of bunches of torpedoes. You know what? I think you might gonna Every have to. You might have. You might gonna need to wait till later because all yeah. of this needs to dry. It's really really wet. Yeah. He has, okay. He has no arms. Just three legs and a head. All right. All right, so my boys are taking a break. There is uh, Bogdan is done with his, and Benjamin is has uh, three. Dry. Yeah, he has like three letters that are super wet, and they need to dry before he can go on with with his whatever he planned. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this blue. Kind of um, vine here. It really doesn't have to. Doesn't have to have more like blooms or anything or berries or whatever you call them. I just oh, I'm losing. So I'm just going to finish that. <clears throat> and then we're done. So if you were painting with us, Feel free to send me a message with your painting. I would love to see what it came out like, what it looks like. I'm very excited to, to see what happened in yours.
Yeah, too much water. Okay. This is kind of a thing. If there's too much water on your paintbrush, it's hard to, to do anything with that. But we're just going to... I think you... Uh, let me know if you guys had fun. I think this is a fun, cute exercise. So what you can do also, wait for all of this to dry, and then you can grab black watercolor paint, uh, put a little bit of water into, into it, just a tiny, tiny bit, and use this very thick black paint to outline your letters. I can't do this right now because obviously my letters are way too wet for this. Because if I do it right now, all this black is going to seep into into my letters and I really do not want any black in my letters right now so there just little little cute kind of vine growing going and I need another one somewhere on this side like that just a tiny bit of water added because my brush is full of color so we don't need to get more paint just need to add a little bit of water to it to see what's going to happen. Okay. I'm thinking maybe. <clears throat> So I'm going to turn this, and yes, it's okay to turn your watercolors, your work area, because there's a lot of, like, working with wet, not wet. Oh, okay, so I pretty much need to reset my whole area to move this, but that's okay. Here, let's try and see maybe this will work. Yeah. All right, let's add, I'm going to add a little bit more of this pretty blue, just because I like it. And of course, you use your own colors, whatever you guys chose. Like to me, blue is very calming color. And I feel like, I feel like I need it. <laughs> I mean, you you guys saw how our class goes here on this side of the camera. <laughs> so yeah, okay. And the last one. All right, so let me see. My L is dry, so I'm just going to show you real quick what I meant. And also, I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to add a little bit more of this brighter magenta. onto my leaves here, just to add more color. Nothing specific, you know, just kind of following there. Okay. So, 
If you have a smaller brush, it would be helpful. This brush is pretty big. So I'm just gonna put some water on my black. Here. And just get it directly from the pan. The point is to not have too much water on the brush. Have paint, but not water. If you're using a bigger brush and you do not have a tiny liner brush, just bring your brush point to a very sharp tip like this, okay? And do not put too much pressure on it, all right? So I'm just gonna go all the way around my Water. And you can do out, oh, that's too much. It's too much pressure, but it will look cool also, I think, because it's like one line is thin and, they, and then it's thick, it's like this. Yeah. This is what, I, what I'm talking about, okay? And if you wanna do this, then like, and you go down, the leather you just apply more pressure on your brush so here i'm going up now down more pressure thicker line yeah and then around is going to be light line and then here pressure Something, okay. And uh, do I know what, a little bit of water to this. Okay, and down, and up, and down. So yeah, this is, see how it looks different? And you can always go back and fix, like I don't like how the line looks here, so I'll just fix it. My B is dry. I'll have to wait for the A to dry, but my B is dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Around, the line. And again, and going down and connect. And think I can, think I can. So here we are, tie dye lettering. Different ways of doing that. I am really loving my A. I think that's pretty cool. So we've tried different ways of doing this and I hope you feel a little bit more familiar with watercolor now that you maybe will try and do this on your own. And of course you can do any words, like the spring is coming, you know, like the word spring, flowers, um, you know, or 
anything, anything that makes you happy, you can do that. All right, friends. Thank you for joining me. Send me your pictures. Do not forget to let your watercolor completely dry. And me, and I mean your your painting and your paints before you're putting them away. Be gentle with your brushes. Make sure your brushes are out of the water. Okay, just. Um, let me put the water over here, I'll just show you, just like this, and clean it on the, wipe it on the uh, side, and then on the paper towel, and then you kind of close the paper towel, pinch with your fingers, but don't pull, just pinch, reshape, and you're done, yeah, and this is how and keep it uh, tip up if you keep them um, upright in the jar like I do. Keep them upright this way. Yeah, the brush, up, not the bristles. The brush. <clears throat> okay. All right. I will see you next Monday or I will see you on some other uh, paintings that I'm doing online. I'm doing a lot of different things. So I hope I'll see ya. All right. Bye-bye. And uh, another one. I have a few tabs open, so I kind of need to. Um, uh, oh, 